everyone, this is D-Vang, and welcome to episode 94 of the Outlaw Joseph Scotts. Uh, last episode, Joseph and Annabelle had been in the mines, uh, and this episode, they are going to town. Uh, so let's see if they can break the curse of the blacksmith. Okay, everyone, welcome. Here we are, Joseph and Annabelle. Now, unfortunately, Annabelle did not quite level up. Uh, she says a little bit more to go for the next session. We'll uh, let her level up. So we need to travel to town. We already got the uh, corruption and everything. So let's go ahead and head to town. Uh, not that it's helped much. Uh, I'm going back to another large town. Again, try to increase the odds of finding a blacksmith. Um, so that means we do have to roll to see if we have uh, additional travel hazards. Uh, so we will roll for uh, both of them, and we do not, uh, because they get an additional travel hazard on a one, two, or three. So there's just two travel hazards this time. So well, that's a uh, good, good thing, uh, unusual for them. All right. So the first travel hazard for Annabelle, red is the first digit, uh, is a 16. Shadows out of time. The shadows playing across the canyon wall seem to move and flicker out of sync with the environment around you. You almost feel as though you can see the vast machinations of the universe playing out in the dark forms. The hero that rolled this hazard, Annabelle, must make a cunning 6 plus test. Okay, well her cunning is a whopping 2. It passed. The posse gains an extra revive token. For every one roll, the hero loses one sanity permanently. So we just don't want to roll ones. Uh, and she passed it. So they will have an extra revive token at the start of the next uh, session. Go Annabelle! Alright. Uh, let's see what Joseph gets. He gets a 53. Probably not nearly as good. Circling vultures. Each hero must make a spirit 5 plus test. If passed, they gain 10 experience and heal D3 sanity. If failed, take D3 sanity, ignoring willpower, and that will carry over. Alright, well, Annabelle has 3 sanity. Or 3 spirit, I mean. Uh, and she succeeds. Joseph has 1. And he fails, so he's going to take a D3 sanity damage, which is going to be two. So he has two points of sanity damage. All right, now that we are through with the travel hazards, we need to see what type of town we are encountering. 2D6. It is a 678, which is a standard frontier town, so it's not a specialty town, um, which is excellent. All right, so. Then let us see what locations we get. So the first location is the Smuggler's Den. The second location is a street market. The third location, oh, I guess I should, is a church. The fourth location is the gambling hall. Oh dear. I'm just going to have the worst luck with this, aren't I? There is a Mutant Quarter. There is a Doctor's Office. <laughs> what are the odds? Uh, oh, there's a Blacksmith. <laughs> oh, that had me worried. And then there is a Frontier Outpost. Okay. So, uh, no, no law offices, so we can't get Joseph the guns, um, which is fine, though, because I think we're primarily going and hitting the blacksmith and the doctor's office to get rid of some corruption. Um, so the first thing we're going to start off with, Annabelle's going to the blacksmith, Joseph is going to the doctor's office, because he's got corruption he needs to get rid of. Annabelle's going to take the tomb, well, she's going to take, like, all of their dark stone and see what she wants to buy with that and she's gonna take you know a large chunk of the money 
Um, Prince Joseph just needs to, to get his three corruption removed. So, we will go ahead and start with uh, Annabelle at the blacksmith for anything can go wrong, hopefully. Um, so let's see what she gets. She has a six. Uh, oh, hold on. Before I do that, that, the six is what she has, so nothing happens. Uh, we First, we have a town event card for the day, which is just another day on the frontier, no effect. And so nothing there. And Annabelle at the start of a town gets to roll for her orphan. And she does not roll triples. Alright, and then she had a six, which was no effect. Alright, so Annabelle. She's going to spend two dark stone and 400 to get dark stone bullets. Boom. She's going to spend eight dark stone. to get a dark stone grip on her cavalry saber. Boom. She's got one slot on the cavalry saber. We've got two dark stone left. We cannot get anything for two dark stone. So, so we'll, we'll sit, leave it at that. Oh, and I think we will, we are gonna sell this ax that we picked up. And I think, let me see what she's carrying. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, and this is seven, this is her max, and Joseph has, can hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right, so Joseph is at um, six, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's right, his pistols don't count. So Joseph has five. Oh, we'll double check that. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So Joseph has five. Um, I'm trying to decide whether to sell this dead man's poncho. Um, Annabelle is currently maxed out with it. Um, but if Joseph has five, uh, that means he has two. He can hold two things. So I think think we'll go ahead and keep it, and she can keep the extra sanity in the weather effects um, for now, anyway. So. Um, while she's there at the blacksmith, then, uh, she is also going to purchase a horse. Um, oh, you know what? Boy, this is my bad. Um, I didn't realize the Spitfire horse was performer or showman only. Uh, Annabelle actually couldn't be using uh, the horse. Um, but that's okay. I didn't really use it for the extra die on the traveling tests anyway. Um, so uh, I won't worry uh, about that. Uh, so she will, um, we will pick up a Mustang um, for her. So she gets 10 experience each time she travels and she gets one grit. Um, Actually, no. You know what? <clears throat> let's, let's actually, let's take a coach. We'll get a coach. Um, to carry them. When their, their posse travels, each hero will gain 15 experience. Um, and also, they can cancel one of the travel hazards. So, um... We can actually sell the Spitfire horse. Actually, I guess it doesn't have to. We will just buy the horse, the coach for for Annabelle. Joseph can can ride. Um, it doesn't say 
Can, oh, yeah, we are limited. Well, limit one transport. Oh, that should be per person. So, yeah. And it can carry multiple, so multiple people can, can get that effect. I would guess... Hmm, that's a good question. I never really thought about that. I always assumed that, uh, you know, everybody could have their own horse. Um, especially since some of them are, are restricted. Um, but how does Stagecoach work? Can, can it carry six heroes? Well, I mean, each hero in the coach gains 15 experience. Uh, yeah, okay. So, so Joseph will keep his Spitfire horse. Annabelle will get Annabelle Stagecoach. Um, and that is that is all she she's going to do there. Uh, now Joseph at the doctor's office. Um, again, nothing too um, too special with uh, with that. Let me find the doctor's office card here. All right, let's see what event he gets. He gets a nine. Uh, expert surgeon. Well, he's not getting any surgery, so because he doesn't have an injury, so uh, he's going to treat corruption. So he pays three hundred to remove his three corruption, and then we roll a die. A one. He does take a d six wounds, and he takes five wounds, uh, which will carry over. Um, so he may want to hit, I think there's something that heals in town, I think isn't it at the street market, there's a smuggler, or a, the baths or something. Um, he may want to uh, hit that, but, uh, but otherwise he's probably okay. Alright, well that is the end of day one. Uh, let us see if there is a town event. There is not. So go to town two. Uh, and then we'll see if Joseph has been recognized and how much money they have to shell out for that. Once. He is one. Recognized once. So day two. Alright. So day two, I think Annabelle wants to get rid of one of the points of corruption. She also would like to uh, get the, uh, the poison um, uh, uh, from the doctor, the injection. Um, what does Joseph want to do? I think we were looking at, so I did say something about, um, see that, like, something that gives him healing. Um, is there anything he wants at the Smuggler's Den since he's there? Um, ship card, uh, gun belt, a poncho. So there's a poncho he could conceivably pick up. It gives him plus one initiative in the first turn of a fight, and he can ignore weather effects. Um, he can also join a bank heist. Um, yeah. You know, my, we need money if we're going to pick him up. Um, uh, that, that, that replacement gun belt. Um, which, um, and I don't believe yet, yeah, and, and uh, Annabelle can't wear it. Um... Let's see what else have we got. Mutant Quarter, there was nothing she wanted to pick up at the Mutant Quarter. Nothing. Um, we do need to consider getting some more herbs, because we did use up a bunch of herbs. Um, oh, but Annabelle can go pick them up because she's getting to the doctor's office. So uh, we won't worry about that. So the street market, yes, the street market has the bathhouse. So Joseph's going to go to the bath, the street market and, and try to go to the bathhouse. All right, so we will start with Annabelle at the doctor's office. She gets a six, so no event. She's gonna spend a hundred bucks for the corruption, and then she's gonna spend 10 bucks for the anti-venom injection. Uh, she's keeping two of the corruption, because obviously, you know, she gets that bonus damage for it. Uh, and then she will buy uh, let's see, we are down one, two, three, so she's going to buy three herbs. Looks like uh, for slots. We've got two whiskey, we've got three tonics, so yeah, two, 
one, two, three, four, five, one, yep, so three herbs. Okay. Um, and I think that's all that she wants. Yep, nothing else. Nothing else. Uh, and then let's look at Joseph. Joseph at the uh, at the street market. Let's see what happens at the street market. He gets a ten. A fortune teller. Wandering into a shop, you find yourself across the table from a fortune teller, ready to predict your fate. You must choose the path of glory. Next adventure, you may reroll one defense roll per turn, or the path of fortune. Next adventure, you are at half your max health, but you get a revive token that only you can use. Um, if you still have the revive token at the end of the adventure, gain a d6 times a hundred dollars and d6 times 50 experience. Uh, let's take the path of glory. I'll, I will probably forget this. Um, uh, but I, I think it's just going to be simpler. He doesn't, I mean, the money would be, would be all right. He doesn't need the experience, though. So uh, we'll leave it at that. That's pretty nice. All right, so then the bathhouse. He's, he pays 50 bucks. He gets to heal a peril die of wounds or sanity, any mix. So he gets to heal four. Um, so let's... Uh, Let's heal um, four, four of the wounds. So he's going to be going in with just one wound and two sanity points. Um, that'll be a little bit better. And then uh, he has no parasites, so he doesn't need to spend a grit for it. Okay. Um, anything else that he wants to do? I don't really want to do street gambling. That never seemed to work out very well. Um, let's see. There is an ornate pistol. Um, I don't think that's better um, better than her her pistol. Um, I don't think there are any hats uh, that he wants or injections or uh, butcher blade. Um, yeah. Um, Ooh, we were looking at, uh, we could get another ornate case. Um, but if we're saving up for that belt for Joseph, I don't think we want to pay the, the 1200 We already spent a bunch of money um, getting the coach, which I think is a good investment. Um, so we're going to need to recover some money, which means next turn we're going to need to, um, Joseph's going to need to rob or the next day. So um, I think that's it for the day. Let's see if there is an event. There is not a town event. Uh, let's see how much they pay for Joseph's recognized. Three. So 150. All right. Uh, oh, you know what? I forgot the daily event for that day. Oh, well, we'll say it was nothing. All right, day three, what do we get? Uh, market prices are up. All prices in town are plus $10. So day three, um, <clears throat> Joseph, Annabelle's going to go to the Frontier Outpost. She wants to train up. Uh, Joseph, I think, I think the, um, let me see which, we, we could use some more Darkstone. We've only got two pieces of Darkstone left, um, but... Um, I think I'm going to save that. I think I need to recover some money first. So the Frontier, let me see what the difference is between the bank heist on the uh, smugglers then and the robbing the outpost bank. <clears throat> um, the bank is a cunning 5 plus test. Um, And you could buy a shape charge for 325 um, to get plus three cunning. Uh, and successfully gets his luck times $50 for each five plus roll rolled. Uh, and his luck is, is four. 
So you're getting $200 for each 5 plus rolled, as opposed to uh, a D6 times 50. <clears throat> but that's an agility test. But, uh, but his cunning's 5. His agility's 6. Uh, and he can, uh, he can bump it up. So actually, yeah, so let's go to, he'll go to the smuggler's den. Um, and he's going he's gonna to rob, rob that. And actually, he can theoretically do both. Um, it, it ends his uh, location visit, but not his town visit, <clears throat> if we want to try to stay one more, one more day. So, uh, let's go ahead and do uh, uh, Annabelle at the Frontier Outpost. And her event is a 7, a trading post. I draw a world card to see where the prospector's been, then an artifact, and we can conceivably buy it. Okay, and the world is the Swamps of Jargano. And the artifact is... Thufer Dust. Discard to cancel a growing dread card on the D6 roll of 4+, plus, or to re-roll a Hold Back the Darkness roll. Requires Spirit 3 or higher to use. Um, well, Annabelle does have Spirit 3, costs 350, um, can be purchased for D6 times 150, so 1 or 2 it's cheaper, or 3 it is going to be 450, I don't think it's worth buying, so we'll leave that, um, and then she will... Um, uh, get a bounty, which is a two for tentacles, uh, and then oh, actually, we were going to use the um, the lawman location for that uh, because that melt that um, just seemed to make more uh, more sense. So the sheriff's office bounty, uh, which is. Sheriff's Bounty. Draw a low threat card to see what the bounty is on. That's right. And it is Stranglers. Well, I am them. Meh. Alright. Bounty on Stranglers if, if that comes up. Uh, and then uh, she's going to train with the soldiers. See what she gets. D6 times 25. Nice, good. She got a got a six, 150 experience. Good. She's 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 right there, um, right there. That that will go a long way. She should level up after next uh, after the next mission. And now we go for Joseph. Joseph at the Smuggler's Den. So he, he will pay the 325 for the shape charge, the explosive, since he don't have any dynamite. Um, and then he will use the he will join the bank heist. So it's a cunning five plus test to rob, rob the town's bank with a local group of outlaws. So he is five. Uh, and then he can discard an explosive to gain plus three cunning for this roll. So he gets three more, so he has eight dice. For each one, he takes a d6 hit. Uh, otherwise, uh, for each five plus roll, and he has two grits. Ooh, and that is a lot of five pluses. Uh, and there is one one. So I think he will spend a grit to re-roll the one, so hopefully he doesn't take any hits. Doesn't matter, he still took the hits. All right, um, so he takes a d6 hits. So he takes two hits, that does, they are hits, they don't ignore anything, so he's gonna get two defense rolls. Fails both of them, and then he has two armor saves. Uh, fails both of them, so he's gonna take two more points of damage. Um, but, um, that is definitely pretty, uh, pretty good stuff there. Uh, so, as we said, it was luck times 50. Uh, we said his luck was four. 
So 200 for each of these. Uh, so that is 800. Um, so, and minus obviously minus the 350 for the shaped charge or the 325 for the shaped charge. Uh, it's still seven uh, 500, 400, 400 bucks he made. Um, that's still still pretty good. Um, dynamite certainly would be better if I had planned in, in advance uh, to try to get some dynamite. Um, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that. Um, so that is that is that. Um, you know, I think I think we're done. Let's see if there's a town event. There is not. So fairly fairly quiet, uneventful uh, town stay so far. I think now we are on day four. I don't think we want to push it. Because uh, uh, odds of an event are are going to be pretty high. We've got some money. We got some, we got the Darkstone bullets. We got a grip for uh, Annabelle's saber. Um, she's got one slot left, which we'll, we'll probably grab something like um, avoid assembly. Oh, it's a gun uh, only. Um, geez, uh, she can't do the inlay. Not sure what she'll get. Um, for that, um, she could get a rune of protection or fortitude or something might be useful. I don't know. Uh, we just don't have the, the we don't have the dark stone for it. Anyway, and I think at this point we just want to save up for um, trying to get that gun belt um, for Joseph. I think um, we did have we did put out a lot of money getting the stagecoach for Annabelle. Um, so we are set back. It will take us a little bit of time. Uh, to to claw our way back to pay the five thousand or six thousand, however much uh, that belt gun belt is. Um, but thank you for watching. I think that's it. Um, they're gonna head off to the next adventure. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for next week. Um, I'll probably roll randomly or something since we've been through all of the uh, all of the adventures. So. Uh, thanks for watching and hanging with me, uh, and I will see you next week.